And the reason you believe it hasn't damaged U.S. national security is? Um, well, I've seen no evidence that right. has damaged U.S. national security. In other words, there have been no consequences that you are aware of. Right. And, um, I mean, I've heard some rhetoric, but I, I yeah. have seen no evidence. And um, what the, the, the stuff largely that we're publishing falls into uh, a category where half the readers say, oh, we knew that was happening. Yeah, Everybody know. knows that's yeah. happening. And then the other half of the readers go, this is a disgrace. How can you reveal such a thing? Yeah. And so when somewhere in the middle of that line must be a reasonably comfortable place that goes, we should talk about this. This is a thing we should discuss. I want both of you to define the debate that ought to be happening today uh, with re in the United States, in Great Britain, about these issues, this balance, which the president at one point called a false choice, this balance between security and freedom or liberty. Well, I, I think what emerges to me from these documents is that what's happening in the security apparatus, it, it's, it's the same in a newspaper, if you like. You, you have tremendously talented engineers right. who could do anything. And they will always push to do more. 